Unfortunately, recently in Italy, we had a significant terrorist event. Um, T Talking Points Memo explains, uh, Luca Traini, 28 years old, remained jailed as police investigated him on multiple counts of attempted murder with the aggravating circumstance of racial hatred for the Saturday attacks in the Italian city of Macarada. Um, oh my God, man, ISIS uh, sent this guy, huh? Uh, that we, hey, look, we gotta figure out what the hell's going on here. So we gotta block all these Muslims. Oh, he's not Muslim, huh, that's interesting. Oh, he targeted immigrants because he's a right winger, huh? No wonder I haven't seen a tweet from Donald Trump about this. Let's give you more. Italian authorities said they seized Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf and other publications linked to Nazism and a flag with a Celtic cross, a symbol commonly used by white supremacists from Trainee's home on Sunday. So who did he target? Uh, the five men and one woman wounded in a two hour drive by shooting spree are from Nigeria, Ghana, Gambia and Mali. According to RAI State Television, um, so um, I guess we got to stop all immigration from Italy until we figure out what the hell's going on. I mean, we got a responsibility to protect Americans, and if it turns out they've got these kind of white supremacist terrorists in Italy, a place known for fascism before, we got to make sure we're safe. We got to figure out what the hell's going on. I'm just applying Donald Trump standards. Right? If you're unsure, you never know. Some members of a group do terrorism. Well, you got to block everybody from the group. The Italians, I'm done with them. Sorry, John Iarola. We might, maybe, I don't know how John Iarola, one of our hosts, got here. Might have been chain migration. We got to look into it. We got to look into it. Maybe end it and send him back. The suspect was an unsuccessful candidate last year in local election for the anti migrant Northern League political party. Italy's ANSA news agency quoted acquaintances saying he previously had ties with the neo-fascist Forza Nuova and Casa Pound parties. Um, and um, some stuff he put on his forehead, let's take a look at his picture, might give you a sense of it as well. Uh, that's a swastika, <laughs> not really subtle. Uh, hey, you know what? Maybe, no, it's not fair to call it a Italian ban. Maybe we should just make it a right wing ban uh, from all the different countries. Until we figure out what the hell is going on, right? Because to be fair to Italy, and we don't want to discriminate against Italy, it might be a lot of countries we have to ban because of right wingers that come from those countries that commit horrible acts of terrorism. Weird though that there hasn't been nonstop press about this issue. Because I know that if there's an act of terrorism, especially if it's politically motivated, driven against certain groups, our press goes nuts over it, and Donald Trump goes nuts over it, and the Republicans go nuts over it. Unless it's a right wing terrorist, as is, by the way, the majority of terrorist acts in the United States. So, now, final piece of irony here. Now, Trainee, some people think were outraged because a Nigerian immigrant had assaulted an Italian woman recently. A 29 year old identified as Jennifer in a shooting spree. And, and so they, they then asked about the people who were shot by Trainee. And we go to that portion of the story here. A Nigerian man has been, and they explain, I'm sorry, not Jennifer, Jennifer was shot by Trainee. This is the earlier shooting by the immigrant. A Nigerian man has been arrested in the death of Pamela. Mastro Pietro, 18 years old, her remains were found in two suitcases days after she walked away from a drug rehab community. So a horrible crime, assaulted, murdered, chopped up, put into suitcases. And um, so when a, an immigrant does a horrible crime, everyone from that community is held responsible by some, particularly in the right wing. When a right winger uh, does a, a a crime or a white supremacist does a crime or an Italian does a crime. Uh, the entire right wing community is not held responsible. All white supremacists are not held responsible. And obviously all Italians are not held responsible. Now, let me add, nor should they, of course they shouldn't. That's preposterous. But when it comes to one group in particular, our media and our right wing lose their minds. 
The one exception is, of course, you can't hold it, all the Italians accountable. But yes, Muslims, it's a particularly dark religion. It's, it's the one that creates all these problems. That, hey, we gotta figure out what the hell is going on. And we gotta do a Muslim slash travel ban. So when it comes to that, there is demagoguery. When it comes to these, oh well, I mean, look, there, there was the immigrant who was, who was killed, or the immigrant who did the killing, etc. Well, uh, let's now go to the irony that I was mentioning earlier. A Nigerian community leader in Makarata, Sami Kunon, said he heard the shots as he was going to meet with cultural mediators about organizing a sit-in to support Mastro Pietro's family. That's the poor woman who was killed. And uh, unfortunately, salt in the wounds here. They called off the event after the shootings for fear of further racist attacks. So you hear sometimes from the right wing, why, hey, why won't the fill in the blank, Muslims, Mexicans, immigrants, um, call out their own. Here were the Nigerians going to support the Italian victim in this case. And they were shot while going to support the victim. Why won't other Italians call out Luca Trani? By the way, they do, of course they do. The government is, uh, has apprehended him, uh, etc. Why won't other right wingers call out Luca Trani? They actually won't. White supremacists, yeah, good luck with that. So unlike the other side, we do not believe that everyone in that category is responsible for Luca Trani's crimes. Luca Trani is responsible for those crimes. It would be nice if both sides use the same standards. What you just watched was one of the videos that we do today, but we actually do a whole two hour show every single day. It's a podcast, you could watch it in video or listen to it as audio. You can download it, you can stream it, and you get it completely ad free if you could become a member of the Young Turks. tytnetwork.com slash join.